Teleoperation is useful when autonomous grasping is not able to deal sufficiently well with corner cases or cannot operate fast enough. Teleoperation, which harvests the movement of the teleoperator's hand to control a robot hand, can provide an intuitive interface. However, it requires mapping between the pose spaces of the two hands of interest. Non-anthropomorphic hands have proven to be robust and versatile in unstructured environments, but finding an easy or intuitive mapping between the human hand and a non-anthropomorphic hand can be difficult. In our paper, we seek to create an intuitive mapping between the human hand and a fully actuated non-anthropomorphic robot hand that enables effective real-time teleoperation for novice users. The method we propose uses a subspace relevant to teleoperation as an intermediary between the pose spaces of the two different hands. Our method enables teleoperation by projecting the pose of the master hand into the defined teleoperation subspace, which it shares with the slave hand, and then projecting from the teleoperation subspace into the pose space of the slave hand. We introduce this continuous subspace and provide an empirical method to project between pose space and teleoperation subspace. Our subspace is continuous and low dimensional. Each basis vector of the subspace corresponds to a different hand motion, size of the object a hand can hold, spread of the fingers, and curl of the fingers. Teleoperation mapping enables the master and the slave robotic hand to form similar hand shapes around a scaled object. Here you can see a novice teleoperating a non-anthropomorphic hand in order to pick up and transport an object. Experimentally, we prove that our method is effective and intuitive using a robot hand with highly non-anthropomorphic kinematics. Our method allows novice teleoperators to pick and place objects significantly faster than state-of-the-art teleoperation mapping methods. We compared our method against joint mapping and fingertip mapping. We used time to complete a pick and place task as a metric for usability and intuitiveness. Thank you for your attention and we hope to see you at our interactive presentation.